It's Emma Nago. So today I'm doing another half and half makeup tutorial. So half of my face is using drugstore makeup and the other half is using high-end. So as always, can you guys guess which side is which? So go down to the comment section, pause this video and tell me what, um, which side you think is the high-end and which one is the drugstore. Okay, so this side is high-end. This side is drugstore. So yeah, I will show you guys how I did this really simple smoky eye. And of course I'm showing you the full face. And I'm showing you a cheaper alternative to a very, not very, but quite expensive liquid lipstick. So yeah, if you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. And remember to watch in high definition. And since I know this video is going to be long because I talk through it. And I'm talking about all the products you know, so I know it's going to be long. So let's just get into it. So without further ado, here comes the tutorial. So our first step is of course going to be primer. So for my high end side, I have my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And then my dupe is the Maybelline Baby Skin. So these are both clear primers. Um, the Maybelline one that I'm going to use over here has a bit of a thicker consistency. Whereas the Smashbox one that I'm using over here has a bit more of a thin consistency. It doesn't feel as heavy, um, but I find them to work great, both of them. I don't really prefer one over the other. For underneath the eyes, I'm going to use the Speckle Under Eye Primer by Laura Geller. And my dupe is my e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This is the only um, low-cost under eye primer that I have been able to find. So if you guys have any recommendations for any low-cost under eye primers, please let me know. So this one is the Laura Gilder and this one is a bit more white. And this one is Elf and this is a bit more pink. As far as the consistencies, um, the Laura Gilder is a bit more thick. Whereas the e.l.f. one is a bit thinner, but I do find them both to work well um, to really hydrate the under eye area and make concealer and powder look less cakey. So for foundation, I'm going to use Derma Blend in the color Opal. And for my dupe, I have my um, e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in Porcelain. So these foundations are very similar. Um, these two colors are almost the same exact color and they both have that kind of medium buildable coverage they're kind of the same texture the elf one might be a little bit thicker but generally they have the same texture and um, of course both of these foundations are suitable for acne prone skin so i'm just going to blend out the foundations with my beauty blender so as you guys can see this elf foundation is about a medium coverage it looks really nice on the skin. So they both blend out easily. So this is what the foundations look like. They have pretty much the same amount of coverage and they have kind of the same uh, finish, which is kind of almost a matte finish, but still a little bit skin-like. And you guys know I like to build, so let's build it up. Build a face. And I blend out the e.l.f. foundation. So the ELF foundation builds up beautifully. So now I'm just going to build up Derma Blend a little bit. So Derma Blend also builds up easily and beautifully. So for concealer on my high end side, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Porcelain. And my dupe is the W7 Go Concealer. This is in the color Fair. So these colors are both very light. Um, the Bobbi Brown one is a bit more yellow and the W7 one is a bit more pink, but they are very close. So of course I'm going to use this underneath my eyes and then I highlight a bit up here on the forehead as well as a little bit on the chin and I do the cupid spell 
and I do the entire cupid's bow with the Bobbi Brown concealer and then I'm going to do my nose with my W7 concealer so I go ahead and apply the W7 over here so the W7 concealer is just a tiny bit thicker than the Bobbi Brown one the Bobbi Brown one feels just a little bit more oily actually so then I go ahead and do the forehead and the chin and the nose so then I go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender. The W7 concealer blends out really nicely. It has nice coverage. And then I go ahead and do the Bobbi Brown. And the Bobbi Brown has even a little bit better coverage. It's very full. And the Bobbi Brown one also blends out super easily. So to set my high inside, I'm going to use the little white powder that comes with the Bobbi Brown Concealer. This is the Sheer Finish Pressed Powder in white. And my dupe is this white powder from Born Pretty Store. This is in the color number 8. So I use my Kat Von D brush to go in and set the under eyes. And I also set the rest of the concealed places. So the chin and the entire cupid's bow. And this side of the forehead and this powder is pretty sheer so it's not going to look you know really super white but it is going to work beautifully if you have fair skin like I do so now I do the Born Pretty Store powder and I definitely find the Born Pretty Store the Born Pretty Store powder to be more pigmented and therefore also more intense so I find them both to work great but the Bobbi Brown one is definitely a bit more smooth. So for my high-end bronzer, I'm going to use Bahama Mama by The Balm. And my affordable alternative is Honolulu Bronzer by W7. So here they are. Um, Bahama Mama looks a bit more cool toned and um, W7 looks a bit more warm. But I find that they go on pretty much the same. Here you guys can see them swatched. So it's Bahama Mama up here and then down here it's um, Honolulu so they do have a slight difference in tone but on the skin they look very similar so I'm starting out with Honolulu by W7 over on the drugstore side so you know I just do the regular bronzing and don't forget the jaw so now I go ahead and do Bahama Mama and then finally along the jaw and I just blend it all the way down onto the neck so once I have bronzer on both sides of my face I'm going to do the nose so I'm taking my fan brush and I'm coating half of it in the W7 powder and I'm using this to contour the nose and then I'm using the other side with the Bahama Mama powder and I'm doing the other side of the nose and now I'm actually going to carve out my um, cheekbones a little bit more just by using a bit more bronzer and I also just intensify it a little bit up here around the hairline and of course I do the same over here and then up around the hairline so I'm just going to blend all of this out a little bit so it's not so harsh so now I'm going back with each one of the white powders and I'm just cleaning up the contour just so it stays nice and intense. So for my high-end blush, I'm going to use Tarte. So this is in the color Exposed. It's a very nice muted neutral color. So my dupe is the BH Cosmetics Blush Palette. And since this is a palette, I thought it was okay to, to mix colors. So I'm mixing this matte um, pinky peachy color with this kind of neutral brownish color. So here you guys have the colors. So we have Tarte on top and then BH Cosmetics on the bottom down here. And you can see they're not perfectly identical but um, they're very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Tarte over here. Just blending it from the apple back into the contour. And then let's go ahead and do BH Cosmetics. I think you guys can see now that I'm putting them on my cheek that on the cheeks they actually look the same and let's just go ahead and blend it in 
For my high-end highlights, I'm going to use Becca Opal. And for my dupe, I have the Milani Fantastic Bronzer in the color Fantastic in Gold. So here you guys see um, the two colors. So we have Becca on top and Milani at the bottom. And as you can see, they are very similar. They are a little tiny bit different in tone. But what I was really looking for when I was trying to find a dupe for Becca Opal was something that was really highly shimmery because a lot of the things I tried, they just were not intense enough. But the Milani one is also super shimmery. So that's why I chose that one as my dupe. So I'm going to apply it right here and then over here. And then I just blend them in with my blush brush. So down the nose, I'm going to use Opal. And on the cupid's bow, I'm going to use um, Fantastic in Gold by Milani. So now we're going to do the eyes. So I'm just brushing out my brows to get them ready for our brow products. So for my high end, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I'm going to use the color Light Brown to fill in my eyebrows. And my dupe is the e.l.f. Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this light brown color so here are the colors swatched so we have Lorac on the top and then elf on the bottom so yeah I'm just starting to fill in my eyebrows and then I go in with the elf um, eyeshadow and then I'm brushing it out so now I'm going to clean up the eyebrows with um, the concealers and I'm just blending that out with my finger and now I'm doing Bobbi Brown over on the high end side and then blend that out let's move on to primer I'm going to use Lorac behind the scenes and my dupe is the elf essentials eyelid primer in sheer so these are both primers that have a little bit of um, a tint to them so they do neutralize your eyelids so you can see the elf one over here. Again, it has a little bit of a tint. I find that they work um, well, both of them. So for my eyeshadows, I'm going to use my Lorac and my elf palettes, as well as my Urban Decay and W7 palettes. So I'm going to start out with my Urban Decay Naked 2 eyeshadow palette. And my dupe is the um, W7 in the buff eyeshadow palettes. So here you guys have them on top of each other. So this one on top is the Urban Decay and the one on the bottom is the W7. So you can see they are incredibly similar. So I'm going to take Foxy from Urban Decay to start out with. It's a very light yellow um, highlight color, matte. So I'm going to pack that on my brow bone. And the dupe is this color. It's called Buff from the W7 palette. So this one I'm going to pack over on this brow bone. So now I'm grabbing the light brown from Lorac that we used on the eyebrow and this is going to be the transitioning color. So I'm applying this right above the crease with a really fluffy brush. This one is the MAC 224 and then I'm taking the e.l.f. dupe that we also used on the brow and again just positioning this right into the upper part of the crease. So we are moving back to the Urban Decay palette and we are going to take Half Baked. So here we guys have Half Baked and the W7 dupe. So we have Half Baked up here and the W7 dupe down here. So I'm applying Half Baked with a Urban Decay brush just right on the eyelid. And I'm switching the brush over and then using the W7 eyeshadow. And the W7 eyeshadow is called Camel. Then I'm going to take this shimmery grey color from the Naked 2 palette. This is called Pistol. And then I'm going to take this color, the dupe from the W7 palette. And this is called Storm. So here you guys have the two dupes. So up here on top we have Urban Decay. And down here we have W7. So you guys, I'm really sorry. My camera just cut off. But all I did was I applied um, the, um, what's it called, the W7 dupe over in my crease. And then I applied Urban Decay Pistol 
over in this crease okay so I'm going to go back into my Lorac Pro 2 palette and take the color called charcoal and from the elf palette this is the dupe so here you guys have the two gray colors if it will focus come on there we go so we have um, Lorac up here and elf down here they are very similar, but I will say that Lorac is a bit more smooth in texture. So now I'm taking some of that Lorac charcoal color, just applying that on the outer corner. And I'm doing the same with the e.l.f. eyeshadow. So now I just go back in with my e.l.f. I mean my MAC blending brush. <laughs> and I just blend everything together. And the same over on the high end side. Then I'm going to take the color Booty Call by Urban Decay and I'm going to take the color Sand by W7. So here you can see the Booty Call and the W7 dupe. So Booty Call up here, W7 dupe down here. So I'm going to apply the Urban Decay eyeshadow over here in the inner corner and also pop a tiny bit right on the brow bone and blend it out. And then I do the same over here with W7. I find that the W7 color is not as pigmented and then a tiny bit up here right at the brow bone underneath the arch. So now I'm applying the Lorac um, light brown eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I mean my eye. And then I do the same over here with e.l.f. Now I go in with charcoal from Lorac and I just go in with that right on the outer corner. And then I use the dupe from e.l.f. And I do that over on this eye. So now let's move on to eyeliner. For my high end side, I'm going to use Estee Lauder. This is a pure color, intense cajole eyeliner. And for my affordable alternative, I'm going to use Gosh. This is the ultimate eyeliner with a twist in the color Bag and Black. So let me show you the Estee Lauder eyeliner and then the Gosh eyeliner. So they are both super black. They are both really creamy and they are pretty much identical. So now I'm going to line my high-end eye. But I'm only going to line it about halfway in, maybe a little bit more. So yeah, I'm only lining about maybe like two-thirds in and then I'm winging it, I'm wringing it out. Then I'm using this little smudger from e.l.f. just to blend it out. So now let's go ahead with the Gosh eyeliner and this pencil has a little smudger on the end that I'm just going to use just to diffuse the color. So when it comes to these two eyeliners I must say I prefer the Gosh one just because it's easier to use and it stays on better. This one from Estee Lauder it smudges whereas this one it sets. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on Gosh makeup. They actually have a lot of good stuff. So now I'm going to take the final eyeshadow, which is Blackout by Urban Decay. And the dupe is Onyx by W7. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this eyeshadow right on top of the eyeliner. And the same on the affordable side. And then I'm just using the little sponge again to blend um, out the eyeshadow. And I'm also going to apply my eyeliners to my other waterlines. And over here I use my Gosh eyeliner. Okay, so I just did my upper waterline eyeliner as well as I touched up my powder underneath my eyes. So for my mascaras, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder lash multiplying mascara and my dupe is going to be hard candy ginormous lash mascara and i chose these two mascaras because they are both volumizing mascaras and they kind of have somewhat of the same wand so i'm going ahead with my um hard candy mascara over here on the affordable side so now I am doing the Estee Lauder mascara. Okay, so I just applied two coats of each mascara. So I think the end results are very similar, but I do prefer the Estee Lauder mascara just because it's a little bit easier to build up. It doesn't take as much and um, the hard candy mascara can't smudge on me. 
but I'm just going to apply a little mascara to the bottom lashes I'm just doing it very softly nothing too much at all so these are the finished eyes now for lips on my high end side I have Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the color red rum and my dupe is the Rimmel Provoca lips in the color what color is this play with fire okay so here the two liquid lipsticks are swatched side by side so this one over here is Jeffree Star and this one over here is Rimmel. So you can see they are slightly different in color. The Jeffree Star liquid lipstick is just a little more bright whereas the Rimmel liquid lipstick is a bit deeper. So I'm applying the Jeffree Star. As you can see it goes on extremely intense and pigmented. And now I'm going to do Rimmel. So the Rimmel one goes on a little bit more glossy, but as you guys can see, the Rimmel one also goes on extremely pigmented. So that's the two lip colors. They are not spot on, but they are really, really, really close. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing these videos. I think it's so much fun to see, um, you know, how you can really create the same exact looks which with really different products so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already and that's it so i'll see you guys again in my next video so take care and bye bye